Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to draw a vector sticky in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by selecting our rectangle tool and just left click anywhere on the artboard holding shift to create a perfect square. We're going to deselect the fill and then just swap the fill on the stroke so we've got a solid black and then I'm going to give mine a color. So I've pre-selected my color here. If you'd like to follow along, here are the RGB color values. So we've got a square. Now what we're going to do is go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, and then clicking in this top left corner and holding Shift to scale down proportionally, we're just going to drag this down to create a smaller square. This is going to be the kind of curled up effect at the edge of our sticky. And then we're going to go with that swatch selected that we created, go into the color guide. And you'll see here that you've got several shades populated that are darker and several that are lighter. So this is our current color here. We're just going to go one shade darker. So hopefully you should have something that looks like this. Now the next step, is to click on the shape, the larger square. And if you're using a CC version of Illustrator, we're going to round the corners just by clicking on these little circles inside the outside anchor points. So you can click that and drag towards the center to round off the corners. Now make a note of the radius. So we've got about more or less 30 pixels in radius. So we've rounded off those corners. We're going to select the darker square now. I might zoom in a little bit for this, I think. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the direct selection tool and specifically left click on this little circle here. So that's the top left circular anchor point, but not the very outside one, just the one in from that. And by selecting this, make sure you've got the direct selection tool selected. And with that selected, you can drag just this corner and it will only round off that corner rather than the others. Now we want this to be fairly consistent. So we're gonna go for a 30 pixel radius again. So get as close as you can. So there we go. And what we're going to do now is make sure you've got your smart guides turned on. So go up to view, down to smart guides. You'll see that little tick there. So with that on, select your direct selection tool. And from the bottom right corner, hold shift and just drag up. And it will snap nicely in place there. You'll see the smart guides help you out immensely when just lining things up. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we've rounded off all our corners using the little anchor points just on the inside of these shapes. So what you can do is you can start manipulating these shapes now, but you may come up against uh, issues down the line where the shape doesn't behave when you try and merge it with other shapes and it, it just doesn't always work out smoothly. So what you can do to kind of almost finalize these shapes, similarly as you would go up to object and expand appearance, you can just select each shape individually, go to the Pathfinder palette and just click here, the top left one, Unite and it just finalizes these shapes and these curves. And just from experience, that's something that helps avoid any kind of issues further down the line when you start combining shapes together. So if you go into preview mode, that's Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, hopefully you should have something that looks like this. What we're going to do now is drag over and select everything. And again, in the Pathfinder palette, the bottom left icon now we're going to click that and what that's going to do is take all of these shapes and turn them into individual elements. So if I do select the direct selection tool, I can now pull all these individual elements apart. Remember before this lighter red square was one shape. We can move it around together now as one shape with the selection tool, but with the direct selection tool, we can actually pull it apart. And in fact, this part here, we don't even need that. So we can hit backspace and just get rid of that altogether. 
And there we go, we've created our vector sticky in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want, you can even add a face. This is a little face that I created earlier. And we can just select our shape and align him or her horizontally and vertically. So he or she sits in the middle. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.